Oh hey, welcome back. Hopefully you've seen my two previous videos about setting up an automatic locker for your base. This video is the next evolution of that setup. This is the Advanced Automatic Locker. This system sorts your items, places them in the locker, will move the items to a locker closer to your airlock, and upon the detection of an enemy nearby, will move the items from that locker back into storage. Let's start with the piping. For this setup, you'll need the following. Seven conveyors, 11 storage adapters, two industrial splitters, and one industrial combiner. You'll also need four boxes and two lockers. This box is my depot box. Everything that goes into here gets sorted into the system. There are two adapters here. One goes to the loot boxes, the other goes to one of my lockers. So we go from this box to an industrial splitter. A splitter does exactly what it implies. It splits one connection into three. Here it's going to split into three connections. No, you can combine industrial splitters to increase the number of connections. Here, each of the connections connect to an industrial conveyor and then connect to their respective boxes. In this case, that would be weapons, armor, and clothing. Here are the settings for each conveyor. Note, you can add boxes to the system without adding another conveyor, but it will split the items evenly between the boxes. Next, you'll need to connect each of these boxes to an industrial combiner. Additional note, you can combine industrial combiners to tap more boxes into the system. Now, go from the combiner to the conveyor. This conveyor feeds your lockers. Here are the settings for it. Now, connect the conveyor to the locker and daisy chain the locker. This right here is probably enough for most people. It moves your locker kit from a depot box to the loot boxes and then places them into a locker. But you're better than that. You want more. You need more. So let's continue. Let's connect this locker to a splitter. We have two connections here. One that goes from your depot box and that exists because inevitably your naked ass is gonna put a rock and torch into the locker, which then takes up weapon space. The second connection goes to what I'm calling your air locker, or your airlock locker. Why have this set up? Well, maybe you just got killed nearby and you want to get back into the fight. Having a locker near your base exit is useful. This splitter connection goes to that locker. Here's the filter for the conveyor. Then go from this locker to conveyor. Here's the filter for the conveyor. Going from this conveyor back to your depot box. The conveyor, when activated, pulls everything out of this locker deposits it back in the base when it detects an enemy is nearby. That's all the piping for the system. Now for the electrical. Here's what you'll need. Power, seven branches, two HBHF sensors, and two AND switches. Every conveyor needs power. These two branches send power to the three conveyors for the boxes and the four conveyors for the rest of the system. Next, 
Four branches power your HBHF sensors and your AND switches. The AND switches allow for the system to be in standby mode and once the condition, enemy detected or ally detected, of the HBHF sensor is met, they activate the transfer from one locker to another. The first HBHF sensor, upon detecting an authorized player, triggers moving from an internal locker to the airlock locker. The second HBHF sensor triggers once an enemy is detected and moves the items out of the locker back into storage. The AND switches are set up to toggle the conveyors on and off so that items can move from the interior locker to the airlock locker. And when an enemy is detected, it turns off that pre and when an enemy is detected, it turns off that previous conveyor and turns on the evacuation conveyor. Okay, well, that was a lot, but now you have it, a truly advanced automatic locker system. Let's see it in action. In the next video, I'll show you how to take this locker system to the next level. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. And subscribe for more awesome content. The support means the world to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.